Hello, welcome. My name is San. This is a reading today for Capricorn. There are no dates on my readings. I trust that when they find you, if they resonate, then they're yours at that time. I'm just seeing like these dust particles floating through the air. And I'm remembering back to like the very beginning of my channel when I was in the, I was in this really little apartment and the only spot that I had to record readings was just like right by the window that had the cat door in it. And so the cats were, the cats were all around that area all the time. And because of that, there was always cat fur kind of being kicked up. Um, and people were always saying that they were seeing orbs on my videos. And I would always say, no, I think it's just cat fur, but people were just amazed by the magic of the orbs in my readings. This is what I'm thinking of right now is the dust is, because nobody said that for a long time, ever since I moved away from that window, right? So, okay, Capricorn, I'm doing your reading with my three decks blended into one. So you will see a mix of all three in your spread today. So we've got the transformation or pressure card on the split. This one's talking to me today about um, a clean slate because it looks to me like um, if you've ever painted, if you've ever used a palette knife to kind of scrape a canvas clean of the paint. So it talks about like um, kind of uh, layers and layers and layers of paint being built up in order to reach perfection perhaps like a continued adjustment 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 until finally it's just completely scraped off the surface and begin again right so and it's, it, it therefore talks a little bit about like past lives maybe or history even like everything being kind of taken off the table everything being pushed off the table okay so and then the call the call or judgment card at the bottom of the deck. So it's looking to me like this is, well, I guess related to what's already on the table here, what's the message that's on the table about an incredible truth arriving, um, I want to say is a response to your call for your call for such thing, right? So the call is talking about your asking. This is the first card on the table here, which is the Ace of Swords. So it's like a call and answer. So the answer coming in is your reading. The effect of the answer coming in is this kind of clean slate, this clean slate, which is almost like it's, it's scraping away past stories or, or history, something like that. Okay. So let's pull an overall energy from the creativity Oracle. share. I've not seen this card before. Okay, so it says share. It's got this amazing image on it here, which the cat is really standing out here, right? But there's all this kind of stuff going on. There's birds, there's people, there's this cat, there's probably other things that are buried in the image. Oh, there's all these fish, look at all these rainbow fish here. Um, oh, and this, and this figure is looking angelic, has her feet in the water with the rainbow fish. There's a lot going on here, right? But it's kind of emphasizing this idea of community. Um, sharing it in order for progress so that's really interesting. Okay, so that, that ties in really amazingly with the kind of the end of the reading here. We'll get to it in a bit, but especially this cat here and all these kind of different species or creatures kind of coming together in this community. That is amazing. We'll get to it. Okay, so it's talking about sharing in order to create progress. So it's almost like different species or different uh, cultures even kind of coming together to broaden the the resources or the, you see what I'm saying? Okay, I'm gonna leave that there. Okay, Capricorn, this is a really interesting reading. It feels like a collective message, of course, but most of my readings do, so I debated whether to make this collective or not, but it's like, no, I'm gonna keep it Capricorn because they're all collective readings, right? It's just one massive ongoing collective story and you can kind of enter it at any point, usually through your sign. Um, okay, so, 
We're beginning with this Ace of Air. The answer is coming through as this incredible truth with the world card coming next to it. It's like there's a massive truth coming about the world, Capricorn, about your world, perhaps, but it feels like, like I said, collective, it feels like the world. The world is about to, to understand a truth. It's like, it's not about, okay, what am I trying to say? The truth that seems to be coming is about the world, which could talk about maybe the nature of reality, the nature of the world, something about how the world functions. It's not just like a big news story that is going global. It's talking about the world itself, right? So the truth about the world, a truth, the truth about the world is coming. And I guess in a sense, it wipes the slate clean. Like it removes a lot. It removes a lot of history. Well, it removes all of the layers. Okay. Anyway, there's an incredible truth coming about the world that is mind blowing is what this card talks about, right? So it says inner core or solidity. It's either mind blowing or, or expanding. It's consciousness expanding. It's consciousness expanding. And also interestingly, it's bringing in with it a very kind of settled peacefulness, which is really interesting because it almost seems like, um, a, you know, an incredible truth coming in about the world that is mind blowing or consciousness expanding. You think it would be like this, this big kind of excitement and perhaps that's part of it too, but it's almost like, but at the core, at the inner core of it, there's this beautiful peacefulness or settled energy about it. It's maybe it's something like, well, that's settled. Well, now that that's settled, which is interesting because this truth card is coming up here later on too. And this was in yesterday's reading talking about kind of being what you know, what you have known or suspected is the truth is being confirmed or validated. So now that that's settled, it's kind of like a breath, an exhale breath. And now it's like, now we can get on with things. We can get on with things, but okay. So the truth that is expansive is also bringing with it this freedom energy because there's something here about this, about how this has been restrictive that it it's almost like it has been restrictive what has been perceivable has been restrictive or contained it's like a it's like a lens looking through a lens and if that expands outward there's all this expanded consciousness and perception but it's also a feeling of freedom right it's like a it's like an incredible release because the that restriction has been holding you in a particular area or realm or understanding. And now that's opening up and with it be, returns freedom of movement, freedom in, in any interpretation of the word is how it's coming through. And then with the sanctuary and the magician card, I love this card. It comes up as the, the um, crew of misfits the magic, something is being returned to the crew of misfits. And it could just be freedom is being returned, but it looks like it's alongside that. Freedom is restored, but also something is being returned to the misfits that is connected with this magician energy. Maybe it has something to do with creational, manifestational abilities, your ability to uh, um, to understand your magical nature perhaps is being returned to you. It's interesting too, because it's this kind of mix of species as well too, right? Which is what this card is kind of pointing to a little bit. So the idea of the misfits is something like, it's almost like it was, whatever was withheld was almost it's kind of implied that it was withheld because of this 
misfit label. Because you are misfits or because you are uncontrollable, therefore your it's almost like your abilities or your tools or your resources have been withheld from you. But now they're being returned. And it maybe has more to do with kind of this expanding perspective or consciousness than it does any sort of like actual physical resource. Do you see what I mean? Because it's like you, it's almost like your consciousness has been restricted because with freedom, there's a, it's uncontrollable. You were, or we were, have been uncontrollable. And so there's been this restriction on us. And that's part of what this truth about the world is talking about. It's like maybe like this reality, this dimension itself, ha you know, it's the construct, right? It's like the matrix perhaps we're talking about. So this magic being, re or this, it's not even saying the mat, I guess it's magic being returned to you, but so it's something coming through the magician is being returned to you. So I want to say that that has to do with the ability to, perceive in an expanded way because it brings in scrying vision prophecy um the ability to shape things energetically it could be like all of that stuff but it's also talking about with the three of fire and the hummingbird or joy card coming next something to do it's almost like your navigational compass your your navigational abilities have been hindered by this restriction. Well, obviously freedom of movement has been hindered, right? That's what this, the freedom is being returned to you. So just the freedom to move perhaps has been restricted, but it's looking to me more like because um, the joy, or the hummingbird spirit, which is also multidimensional, is the energy that's leading this direction, right? Or this vessel here. It's it's what is guiding the, the motion forward. And, okay, this card also talks about the way it's meant to be or the way nature is designed to work is that the, the flower is a perfect creation in order to attract the hummingbird. It's like this this attraction element, this magnetism element in a sense that is built into creation in order to it to, for it to work at its optimum, most efficient level is that the hummingbird just knows to go to the flower. It's the most beautiful, euphoric, attractive location or destination or goal for the hummingbird. It just, it goes right there, right? It bullseye, it goes straight there. That's what this is talking about. It's like whatever this restriction being removed. It's interesting because this was in another reading the other day. Something about now that the resistance or the obstacles have been removed, that something was coming straight towards you. But this is more like you're, you now know, or at least if you, maybe you knew before, but you didn't have the ability now you have the ability to go straight towards what is like designed or created specifically for you. It's like, it's this glowing neon sign that is irresistible. Do you see what I mean? And it's something like that's part of what was taken away from you and is now being returned to you through this truth that is expansive. Okay. So, but what's really interesting too, though, is this, Queen of Water and the Stillness or Reflecting Pool card. Both of the, these are kind of the reason why I was talking about um, peacefulness or calm or just this feeling of being settled coming in with this expansion because of all of it. It's like this anchoring. It's this, it's kind of like a grounding sensation of just feeling okay, feeling like everything is the way it's meant to be. It's settled. Think, now that that's settled, it's really interesting. Now that that's been settled, I'm settled. I'm peaceful. I'm settled in. Settled into your consciousness, perhaps. But, okay, it's something like this. There's all of this kind of peace. It's like this um, stillness, right? It's like the consciousness, your mind, your energetic body, your spirit 
is getting really still and peaceful, but that's also talking about kind of the psychic realm, the astral realm, consciousness. Con the consciousness realm is getting really smooth and, and resistance free. Okay. And then there's letting go spirit coming next. It's not spirit. It's yeah. Spirit guardian of autumn, letting go. Okay. So there's something here about the con something in the consciousness realm, something in the astral realm, something in the ethers that is now releasing you. It's letting go of you. It's, it's this, it's this static. It's like static or noise. There's been static or noise in the atmosphere, in the consciousness realm that has kind of been a part of the, it's been a part of the world. It's part of the matrix or the construct or the restriction. And it's like, it's been, it was put there in order to keep you from kind of hearing or seeing what was meant for you. Does that make sense? It's like, there's been all of this interference introduced into the field, into the energy, into your own energy, right? It's like, it, just the, maybe just, you know, kind of like world events. It's almost like the world is going to get really calm and peaceful. World events have been so, there's been so much upheaval and chaos and confusion and what is, what really is going on and what's truth and what is actually happening. What is happening? All of that, all of that is in the thought form of the mass consciousness, right? The mass consciousness is just in chaos and upheaval energetically and in reality, right? So it's like, it's like something is coming, some sort of truth or unveiling is coming that is, it's like, it's going to quiet all that down. It's like, it's settled once and for all the truth about the situation is revealed. And so everybody can quiet down. And in that stillness, all of this returns in that stillness. This, well, I mean, maybe that's what we're talking about. What is being returned to you, to the misfits, is stillness. Like a, a clear surface on, order in, on which to scry, right? Do you see what I'm saying? It's like everything is, is smoothing out. The resistance is lifting. The distortion is disappearing. And so everything becomes like crystal clear and easy to understand. That's why what is yours or meant for you or where you're meant to go next is just glaringly obvious. Okay, so, and then this truth card here about, it was starting to look to me, especially because it came with this queen of air, which is, which is gorgeous because that one usually talks to me about crystal clarity, right? It's like sharp crystal clarity, clarity of like your mind just being completely clear, but coming in with this truth in this, this, what is being returned to you? It's almost looking like a familiar, especially with this card here with the cat and the community of species coming together. Your familiar is being returned to you. Okay. What that's talking about to me. Well, I guess it ties into this expansion of consciousness, this, this, op this mind blowing expansion being able. Okay. So if, if you see the consciousness realm as water, as I do, um, you know, the water has just been like stirred up to the point where it's so muddied and you can't see very far, right? You, there's just, there's too much chaos in the water to see any great distance. But now that is settling, you can see much farther. And in that, it's almost like, how do I explain this? This idea of the familiars, it's like, okay, I have this ability, which actually hasn't been very active recently, interestingly, in all of this upheaval, where I can, it's almost like I can peer through other people's eyes. So in it, like, if you become the consciousness behind the eyes that are peering out and taking in the landscape or experiencing life, 
what comes with that is all the understanding or knowing or wisdom or experience of that consciousness. It's like the moment you look through somebody's eyes, it's like you have all of their understanding, like an instant download. It's like you just understand their perspective and everything that is happening to them in relationship to them. It's like this amazing ability to just, it's like empathy, expansive empathy Expansive is not the right word. It's like exhaustive. It's like, okay, anyway. So, but what this is talking about is it is, is a, kind of an expansion even way beyond that where it's now involving kind of like other species. This isn't just talking about being able to be empathetic or look through the eyes of other humans or other people that are in your life, but it's now expanding outward. It's almost this ripple effect, like dominoes going out is what I'm seeing. Um, that is kind of now encompassing, it's like an upgrading of that gift or ability to perceive through another's eyes. You now have the, this came out of a, in a conversation that I had with a friend years ago. The ability, that gift, it's like your gift expanding in multiple ways. You are now able to see through the eyes of mankind, of elemental spirits, of nature spirits, of animals, of extraterrestrials. It's, I guess it's kind of like oneness consciousness. So that's kind of why I was excited to see this one called Share and about this community kind of coming together. But it's almost like instead of the community coming together necessarily, it's like your consciousness, your ability to perceive farther out is opening up because of this stillness, because of the peace at your core, you're able, your consciousness is just reaching farther. It's encompassing other elements that you could identify as familiars, right? That you have, it's like your, the misfit crew is expanding to include like all of consciousness. It's something like that. Because sharing makes progress, right? So there's been this, it's like you've been confined to your small group or collective or family or life in order to slow progress. But now that this peacefulness is sweeping through and the consciousness is expanding and it's like there's more sharing, more accessibility to like all perspectives and that facilitates progress in a really powerful way, right? Okay, so I'm gonna continue to pull cards and create an extended. If you're interested in that, the link is in the description box and if not, I will see you next time. Capricorn, thanks, bye.